Today, the White House unveiled its new plan to go on offense against Obamacare critics, inviting a group of liberal pundits to meet with the president, who is now apparently getting ready to blame the media, the Republicans, and the insurance companies for the public perception of his law. Fox's own Juan Williams was there. Listen. I mean, they're mad at the insurance companies right now or the cancellation letters, you know. They think they could have called those things, uh, you know, simply renewals or change plans. But once they put out cancellation, it damaged the Obama effort. Leslie Marshall is a Fox News contributor and a radio talk show host. Lars Larson is host of the Lars Larson radio show. Lars, you know, and they could also call terrorism workplace violence, but that doesn't change what it is. No, and you know, I'm glad I have Juan on my show every week, and I love Comrade Juan, but the fact is, is all this spin <laughs> and attempting to get the liberal media uh, and liberal pundits to carry water for this guy is not going to fix the problem. Five million people without insurance, and the president made it happen, and I'm waiting for the insurance industry to start pushing back. How long are they going to take the president blaming them for something that's a direct result of the law that he demanded that America have? Leslie, he's mad at the insurance companies for canceling people, which the Obamacare law and rules and regulations forced them to do. And now he's ticked off saying they should have called them renewals or change plans and not cancellation. That's why people don't like the law. Well, I don't think that's exactly what he said, that they don't like that's the law because Ron of that. But said. certainly the, 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 the insurance companies could have, when you have, like my insurance company sent me a letter that said your plan is going to be changed, the name, there are going to be alterations to the plan, and they could have done that. When you get cancellation, people panic, they're fearful, and they think that they're losing their insurance, they're losing their benefits, and although some people have, the majority of people have not, and the majority of the insurance companies know that they could have just tweaked the plans, they didn't need to rename them, and they didn't need to call it cancellation. Tweak. That's not I don't feel true. the president's Tweak. blame. That's not I true. Don't, they I did have the to president. end the plans that were in place. They did have to if they didn't comply with Obamacare they could, they could alter them. They could alter, them. alter them. the legislation. You have to add gigantic sections of new mandates. Believe me, I think what's happening here is liars love company, and the president is a liar, and he's saying, why didn't you insurance companies just lie to your clients too, saying, we're going to tweak it a little bit, oh, and add a couple of hundred dollars a month to your bill and raise your deductible and reduce or increase your co-pays and restrict the doctors and hospitals, just a couple of tweaks like that. Why couldn't you just lie as well as the president did? Well, the other thing that they came out with, Leslie, that Juan said happened at the meeting was that the White House is very frustrated right now, this is a quote, with the way this has mm -hmm. been portrayed in the media. Really? Too well, bad. Uh, I mean, well, the media that, that has been reporting that he, that he... about the problems with this rollout. What, it, why is it always the media's fault? Why, why is the White House so quick to blame the media for problems of its own making? Well, I saw Juan's interview in its entirety earlier, and I didn't take away that the president was blaming the media, that they were frustrated with that, but that they also were addressing the fact that the website needs to be fixed. They're frustrated with that. They're frustrated with the management. They're frustrated with the implementation. And, and I think what they want is for the people to understand that they sense their frustrations, that they are caring about the people who are getting cancellation notices, and that they are working day and night to get this fixed. And they, I think, are angry about uh, the uh, the fear that they feel has been spread, and I got to say that Lars, uh, your team has just been a, a lot louder Leslie. than mine. Maybe you guys uh, yell louder, but I've also I've always said that the messaging about what this plan is, and honestly, the communication with the American people, even up until this okay. point with this plan, has not been adequate. Go ahead, Lars. Leslie, that's crazy. The fact is, and it's a dangerous metaphor to use in present company, but you can't put lipstick on a pig. And this thing is a pig. It doesn't work. Dangerous. And Americans are being hurt right now. I'm not sure why that's dangerous in the present company, well, but I, I don't just... think that reflects well on you and me, <laughs> Leslie. All right. Thank you. See you <laughs> soon. It that way. No offense taken. <laughs>